Hey everyone, recently I have been looking at those platinum coins that I was randomly accumulating on my Nintendo Switch and decided I should finally make use of them. So I decided to take a look online and see what physical rewards I could redeem with them since using them as player icons just doesn't interest me. There is actually a decent amount of variety of items to choose from and I have noticed that they do change what's available according to what games are being released. However, the stock doesn't change over too often, as there are some items that just seem to always be there. I ordered everything over the course of a couple different shipments, and while the items were redeemed for free with use of the coins, I was still required to pay for shipping, which in Canada was around $10 each time I ordered something. And with that, let's check out what I picked up. First up, one of the smaller items I grabbed was a set of Pikmin shoe charms. I grabbed these for my partner as she really enjoys the Pikmin franchise. While small and only in a set of three, they do feel like they're pretty good quality. The clip on the back feels incredibly sturdy and the Pikmin themselves have a bit of flexibility to them which I assume will help prevent them from breaking in half. Next up, something a little bit more useful and it's a Splatoon reusable bag. The bag is bigger than I thought it was going to be and the quality does feel sturdier than I expected as well. Personally, I'm not really a big fan of the material used as it's really noisy, but it's definitely an item I can actually make practical use of. I know it can be a little difficult to show the actual size of these items, so I use the Switch game case for a comparison and you can tell it's a full sized reusable bag. Speaking of reusable bag, I also grabbed a Super Mario theme bag and personally, I like this one way more than the Splatoon bag. It's the type of material that I prefer although I do think it's more likely to rip when compared to the Splatoon bag. But the design on this bag is just amazing. One side showcases Mario and a bunch of characters from the Mario universe, while the other side is just the Super Mario logo, and it looks very crisp and clean. Sometimes a simplistic logo can make something look quite nice and the colors on the bag really pop as they're extremely vibrant. But the best feature of this bag is its ability to be folded up and stored in a little question block pouch. The pouch itself is actually attached to the inside of the bag so you'll never lose it either. And yes, I know my ability to fold it properly is pretty poor, but when done right, it looks great. Moving away from reusable bags, I decided to pick up a bunch of keychains, starting with the Splatoon and Pokemon crossover keychains. The designs on them are rather simple, but I think they look really good with the Splatoon writing and ink splatter along with the starting Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet with their corresponding Pokemon type. I really do like the idea of keychains, however I'm just someone who doesn't like having a lot of items on my keys, so I'm actually not going to attach them. Along with these keychains, I also grabbed a keychain of a spark from the Mario and Rabbids franchise, and while nothing spectacular, it does feel really sturdy and it does sparkle in a nice way when the light shines on it. But the keychain I'm more excited about is a glow-in-the-dark keychain from Tears of the Kingdom. It looks great and the glow-in-the-dark aspect of it, while it doesn't seem to last for a long time, when it's at full strength, it looks fantastic. Since I don't like attaching things to my actual keys, I think I'll find a way to display them on a corkboard or something like that. If anyone has any suggestions on other good ways to display them, let me know down below. Moving away from keychains, I grabbed two towels. The first one is a Nintendo Switch Sports branded towel and it's a pretty decent size. On the website they called it a cooling towel and the description says it's a good type of towel to be used while exercising or in between rounds in a sport, more of a sweat towel type of thing. The design on it is pretty good with all the characters playing different sports, while the second towel is a much simpler one, but one that I actually like way more and that's a Pikmin 4 kitchen towel. The towel is a pretty good size and way more useful in my personal day to day life. I also think the design on it is pretty adorable and I think the quality of the Pikmin towel is better than the Switch Sports one. And finally, the last thing I grabbed was a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet branded notebook. I actually haven't opened it yet, but this is something that could be of actual practical use and I'm sure I will open it at some point soon. It is a bit of a weird size as it's not a full size book so it's probably not great to take notes in class or something like that, but also not really small enough to fit in a pocket and truly be travel sized. However, having something at home to make a quick note if need be is always a good thing. Now something to keep in mind about all these items is that I'm located in Canada so it's possible your location might have different items available. Also, when it comes to these items is that I was slowly redeeming my coins over the past 8 or so months, so there are some items that I showed here that are no longer available. However, 
They do have other interesting items on the site if you want to check them out. From a Mario Strikers Battle League drawstring bag to a Metroid Prime pin set or a Bravely Default 2 poster, there's some things that could be worth it for you to take a quick look. Just the other day, I noticed that there's a new Mario Bros. Wonder keychain up on the site, although it's actually currently sold out. But that just means when I have enough coins saved up again, I'll have to take another quick look and see what else is new. You know, I've always wondered how many people actually make use of services like this and actually manage to grab some of these exclusive items. So I did a poll over on the community tab and I asked, have you ever redeemed your Nintendo Platinum points for physical rewards? And while the number of votes was limited, every single person voted no. Honestly, this result doesn't surprise me as I never hear or see anyone talk about this service. But maybe that's because people don't even know it exists. But let me know down below what you do with your Platinum Coins. Do you redeem them for physical rewards? Do you use them for player icons on your Switch profile? Or do you just let them sit there and accumulate and do absolutely nothing with them? I'm really interested to know just how many people actually use them for anything, so let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. It really helps out a ton, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see all the gaming pickups I made over the summer months, then be sure to click on this video right here.